The one-week countdown to the North Korea-U.S. summit begins with the White House announcing the exact time of the historic meeting between Kim Jong-un and President Trump in Singapore. And it could just be the first, as there are continued hints that more meetings could be in the works. Uh, Park Jun has this report. The White House has confirmed the date and time of the North Korea-U.S. summit. It will be held next Tuesday on June 12th at 9 a.m. Singapore time or 10 a.m. Korea time. And I can also tell you uh, the schedule for uh, tentatively for that first meeting uh, will be uh, on June 12th at 9 a.m. Singapore time and take place at June 11th, 9 p.m. East Coast time. The press secretary referred to it as the first meeting. That could be seen as confirmation from Washington that there may be follow-up meetings with North Korea even after the summit in Singapore. It also follows the same line as President Trump's recent remarks where he hinted at the possibility of multiple talks with Pyongyang. It'll be a beginning, I don't say, and I've never said it happens in one meeting. You're talking about years of hostility, years of problems, years of really hatred between so many different nations. But I think uh, you're going to have a very positive result in the end, not from one meeting. The White House has also clarified that the Trump administration's policy of maximum pressure through sanctions remains in place and will stay until the regime has abandoned its nuclear weapons. Our policy hasn't changed, and as the president stated, uh, we have sanctions on. They're very powerful, and we would not take those sanctions off unless North Korea denuclearized. The White House was clearing up remarks made last week by President Trump following his meeting with a senior North Korean envoy. Trump said last week he didn't want to use the term maximum pressure anymore to describe U.S. pressure on Pyongyang as they were getting along. He also said he looks forward to the day when he can remove the sanctions from the regime. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.